Fertilization. How it begins. What is its impact? In this video we will discuss each and every concept clearly. Watch till the end. For fertilization to occur, two specialized cells are needed. The sperm, produced by the male. These microscopic, tadpole-like cells are incredibly numerous, often hundreds of millions released in a single ejaculation. The journey of the sperm begins in the acidic environment of the vagina. It is a harsh environment for these delicate cells. Many die here immediately. Those sperm that survive their next hurdle is the cervix, which is the opening to the uterus. Depending on the woman's cycle, it can be tightly closed with mucus or around ovulation. A more welcoming passage filled with a specialized, thinner mucus that guides them forward. Those sperm that pass the cervix enter the vast muscular chamber of the uterus. Here, they continue their incredible swim, driven by their powerful tails. Finally, sperms enter and navigate into the narrow fallopian tubes. This is a critical road. Only one of the two tubes will contain the waiting egg. Many sperm will mistakenly enter the empty tube or simply get lost along the way. Other sperm will find the egg waiting for them. After a long journey that can take hours, the surviving sperm now numbering in the hundreds or thousands, instead of millions, finally reach the vicinity of the egg, deep within the fallopian tube. Out of all these sperm, only one will successfully penetrate the egg's protective outer layers. Once that single sperm gets through, some changes occurs in the egg. The egg immediately seals itself off, preventing any other sperm from entering. The moment that first sperm's head touches the egg's membrane, a remarkable series of events is triggered within the egg itself. This is called the zona pellucida reaction. Inside the egg, tiny sacs called cortical granules release their contents. These powerful enzymes and molecules rapidly alter the structure of the zona pellucida, which prevents other sperms from entering. The zona pellucida essentially hardens and becomes impenetrable. It's a crucial blockade that ensures no other sperm can get in. This reaction is absolutely critical. If multiple sperm fertilize the egg, a condition called polyspermy occurs, the resulting embryo would have two, many chromosomes and would likely not survive. The zona pellucida reaction is the egg's elegant mechanism to prevent this. Inside the egg, the sperm's nucleus, where its genetic instructions are stored, merges with the egg's nucleus and eventually forms a zygote. This is the process of fertilization. If you like this video, please subscribe.